new app Brass Monkey turns your iPhone into a cloud-based game controller. Now, here's another article that was posted that uh, I knew about a, 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 for, a, for a while, and I'm surprised this hasn't been covered in more uh, tech publications. Essentially, uh, if they, they've got a technology that allows you to wirelessly tether your iPhone or your phone in general. They've got an SDK. Uh, to uh, a remote system that's you know running a web browser. So I a few months ago, actually, was it a months ago or years ago? Do you guys remember when I did a video uh, controlling the the Death Star trench run? Uh, it's a Star Wars game that you can get on iOS. I think it's like five dollars or so, and you can use your iPhone as a controller and control an experience that is on a remote screen. And I actually did the demo. I set up the camera and everything. That's what they've done. They've made the iPhone. A controller for a browser-based video game. Now think about that for a second. This is the future of consoles. Imagine flipping on your TV, and you can do this now if you have the computer connected to it, and then using your phone, your smartphone that you have on you as a controller. So it's nice if it's got an accelerometer or a gyroscope in there so that you can you know, pivot and move it and you know, slide and whatever you need to do as the controller. And depending on the game you play, that controller's interface is going to change. This is huge. So if there is an absolute place for things like the Xbox 360, the Wii, the PS3. I mean, these are powerful systems. But again, how far are we with something like a Google TV? or a completely different device than Apple TV, and being able to do just that. I can use a, a remote control on my Android device to control my Google TV. I could use the app uh, on iOS to use my uh, iPhone or iPad to control Google TV, or I could use my iPhone, which I don't have on me. Pretend my phone is here in this, in this general area. Yes, I'm seeing your comments, by the way, as this is streaming live on YouTube. Um, using that phone as the controller and the TV that you already have as whatever that app is allowing you to do, whatever that game is allowing you to do. We're already there on live. It's kind of there. Uh, the controller is really that, that missing component uh, in terms of something that we all have on us. And most of us have smartphones, at least the geeks have smartphones. We have televisions. We have computers potentially connected to televisions. Um, it's really uh, something that I had not seen before. Uh, Mr. Rankinator says, sort of like what Nintendo wanted to do with the Wii. That's exactly what someone else had said in a comment thread on Google Plus when I uh, shared uh, this uh, article uh, this weekend. Um, and Brass Monkey, I've asked them, where are you going to go with this? I mean, I, I can imagine, um, you know, just not needing a desktop web browser and just somehow uh, just connecting the, the, the console wirelessly and then using, whether it's Bluetooth or another type of wireless technology, uh, to, you know, better interoperate with any television. Imagine being able to turn any television... That was connected, uh, well, actually, it wouldn't even need to be connected to the internet because you've got the controller there, and if the, the controller beamed the game onto the TV, uh, everything you, would be right there. Everything you would need would be right there. And I, I think that's, uh, if you haven't heard of Brass Monkey yet, I, I'm shocked because this is something that we, they kind of played around with with the, uh, the Star Wars, the Trench Run game currently available. I did the demo before, as I said. Uh, and I think we're going to hear more and more uh, about stuff like this. Uh, you know, turning the television into a console on demand. Effectively, your smartphone at some point in the future can turn into a console. It's kind of already there now. You've got some amount of that with AirPlay on iOS uh, to a certain degree. Very, very limited in this capacity. You're still tethered to an Apple TV. Uh, but... We're getting there, and I, and I think Brass Monkey has done a pretty good job. So if you want to take a look at uh, tomorrow's gaming platforms, uh, don't take a look any further than what might be in your pocket or your hands at this point in time. Uh, again, the article is written uh, kind of a covering in depth of what Brass Monkey is doing and, and really the ramifications uh, for the rest of the gaming industry.